up YouTube, it's Zena. We are going to react to this YouTube video that CNBC make it uploaded for their millennial money segment. Show? Segment? Show? It is living on $100,000 a year in Atlanta. Millennial money. Luna's excited to watch this video with us. I am excited to react to this video because I watch Millennial Money all the time and I haven't seen this one yet. I did a reaction video the other week. You guys really liked it. So now here it is. Let's start. My total amount in student loans is $230,000. Two hundred thirty? Two hundred thirty? Two hundred thirty? How could you sleep at night? I, even with a hundred thousand, I cried. I broke down. I had a fuck. No. Oh my god. Two thirty. She is making six figures a year. Let's give her that. So let's see what she's doing to pay off this debt because you know me. I love it when people pay off debt. My name is Dr. Adrian Coleman. I'm 30 years old. I make $100,000 a year and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I have a full-time job that I work Monday through Thursday and a job that I do PRN, which means as needed, that I would do Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Since we started, I do not work at that second job because it is at a skilled nursing facility. Yeah, with everything going on this year, Sadly, a lot of people lost jobs, they're not making as much money. I'm not sure if the 100K income that she's making is pre-sickness or post-sickness. I'm hoping it's post, but it seems like what she's making now is enough, maybe, hopefully. I don't know, let's keep watching. My parents are immigrants from Jamaica. They've been here since about the 1980s and they have taught me and my brothers a lot about money. I learned about personal finance through my mom and my dad and a few of my friends who are in finance. That is amazing. I applaud parents who teach their children at a young age personal finance because you're not going to learn it anywhere else unless you mess up like me. I learned it the hard way. Good job parents, yay. Dad is very much so work very hard and then reward yourself with your hard work. So spend money on yourself, travel, buy nice things for yourself. How many shoes does she have? Look how many pairs, pairs at one, two, three, four. Are those Jordans? Those are Jordans. You should not be wearing Jordans. <laughs> when you have over $200,000 of debt. You know how many gym shoes I have? How many shoes I have that I wear to the gym? One pair. I have one pair of gym shoes that I've been wearing for two years. And then I have two other pairs of sneakers that I wear outside of that. But that's it. I invest a lot of money with my friends by buying their art, buying their clothes, buying their body products. I even solicit them to help me with business decisions by using them for their graphic design, for website design, anything that I need. I try to outsource that to my friends first and give them and invest in their businesses before I go to a big corporation. I agree with hiring your friends. Spending money to support your friends business while you're two, over $200,000 of debt, not the best idea. If you were my friend and you were $200,000 of debt and you wanted a t-shirt of mine, I would give you one of my t-shirts for free and then the 30 or $40 that the t-shirt costs, I would make you put that towards your debt. That way you're still supporting me, you're wearing my merch, and I help you pay off your debt. That's that's the right way to do it. Thumbs up on this video, by the way. My spending habits have changed a lot. I do not go out to eat as much. I do not spend money on clothes and shoes because I'm not going anywhere. I would travel at least once a month, even if it was going to the beach in Florida. Traveling once a month is way too much. Most of much. my travel way money too often, from my especially second if you're job, in that much debt. but since I'm not working there currently, then I don't have that extra money for travel, but we can't really go anywhere anyways right now, so that's okay. Let's see this. Housing. 
about 1500 that's fine debt repayment 903 debt repayment needs to be more especially since she's over two hundred thousand dollars of debt you know what my debt repayment is my debt repayment every month is thousands of dollars literally more than what i pay in housing transportation 508 investments okay savings I'm not sure if you should be putting the 400 in savings. Maybe if you're trying to build an emergency fund, then put the 400 in there. But it would be way better if you put the 400 towards debt repayment. Uh, insurance 280. Insurance sucks. Misc 210. Phone 62. Food. Your food is fifty dollars. Her food is fifty dollars. What did she do to get it to fifty dollars? You know what it probably is employer probably pays for her food there's probably free food at work uh, that's how it is at um in san francisco a lot of tech companies they just give you free food free breakfast free lunch free dinner all these engineers and these tech people eat for free during the entire week so i put about 200 dollars into a regular savings account another 200 into a high yield savings account you don't need to put 200 in a regular savings account and another 200 in the high yield savings account just put all of it in the high yield savings account there's no reason to not accumulate interest on i that. put about 420 dollars into my 401k through my job and they match that as well and then i put about 20 dollars a month into my own personal roth ira account why only 20 dollars in the roth roth ira has a max yearly contribution of six thousand dollars and then if you miss a year, you can't contribute for that year ever again. So putting $20 in your Roth IRA really isn't going to help you much. Just letting you know. My total amount of student loan debt is $230,000 and that's combined from undergrad and graduate school. Two years ago, I ended with about 100 and 80 something thousand dollars and now it's grown to 230,000 because of interest. Why are you smiling? It's like she's not taking this seriously. Two years ago, she only owed $180,000. It is now at $230,000. The longer it takes for you to pay off, the more that the interest is going to accumulate. And she's only putting in $903 every month towards her student loans. This is, this is bad. This is really bad. I'd rather live my life than throw thousands of dollars into trying to pay this debt off. And it's so much, I don't feel like right now that I just started my career two years ago that I could get ahead of this debt. I do plan on creating things and making investments so that I am able to tackle that loan when I do have a little bit more money. If you have this type of mentality with your finances, with your money, with your debt, you're going to have this mentality forever unless you do something to change it. Don't do what she's doing. This is like an example of what not to do. Like you open the dictionary and you say, okay, how do I not handle my debts? You'll see this video, you'll see a picture of her. You know what you need? You need some Dave Ramsey <laughs> in your life. The steps that I'm taking to reach my financial goal is to pay down as much of my car note and my credit card debt as fast as possible. And I also have about $2,000 in credit card debt, but that will be gone very soon. <sighs> credit card debt and car note debt on top of student loan debt. What are you doing? <sighs> 482 a month. You know how much I pay for a car? Zero dollars because I don't have a car. I just Uber everywhere. And even with Uber, I don't even pay $482 a month for Uber. I spend maybe $200 a month at most. At most for Uber. If I can, I'll double up and pay a thousand in a month just so I can hurry up and get my car note out of the way as well. $17,000 left on your Mazda. Sell the car, get a cheaper car. I love seeing couples. It's, it, it just makes me really happy. <laughs> My boyfriend and I have been together for seven years and he is absolutely great. 
He does save me a lot of money because he buys all my groceries. Whenever we go out to eat, he pays for my food. He buys all my drinks. I don't spend a lot on gas because he drives me everywhere. Oh, that's why her food is $50 a month. So she doesn't spend a lot of money on gas because the boyfriend drives her everywhere. You should really sell your car. You should really get rid of it. If you're in his car the majority of the time, why even have why even pay over $500 a month for a car? It doesn't make sense. I wanted to be featured on Millennial Money to let other millennials know that you can live the life that you want and live comfortably even if you have a large amount of student loan debt. Hey millennials with student loan debt, this is the opposite of what you should be doing. I think the most important lesson that I've learned is to pay yourself first and to invest a lot of money and don't let student loan debt hinder you from living the life that you want. Because I know a lot of people in the US have a lot of student loan debt and they don't really know how to tackle it, but don't let it consume your life. <sighs> this is not what you should be doing if you have over $200,000 of student loan debt. Even if you have $50,000 of student loan debt, this is not what you should do it. You should do it. What you should be doing is living as frugally as possible. Then you try to make as much money as possible. Whatever extra money you make, you put it towards debt. So it's what, 20, 25 years until they're forgiven? Uh, that's a really, really long time. A long time to wait. And you have to think, okay, in, in the next 25 years, do I want to get married? Do I want to start a family? Do I want to buy a home? All these things you're going to have a really hard time doing if you have student loan debt, especially if it's six figures of student loan debt. The longer you wait, the more that your student loans will accumulate interest if you need inspiration or want to learn how to pay off your student loan debt, you can watch my channel, you can watch Dave Ramsey's channel. Millennial Money, if you're watching this right now, you should feature me. Feature me because I am the perfect example of what you should do, what every millennial should do to pay off student debt. Wow, this was... Uh, I wasn't expecting this. I thought she was going to be really bawling because she's making six figures a year. That was our video. I have a hyper puppy that wants to play fetch. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye!